So first thing I want to talk about is special lines or what the textbook is calling special lines. I think some of you have encountered these in your exercises already, um, but I'll just go over it again. So let's start with this line, x equals 4, and if we had to do a graph of it, if we had to sketch it on the number plane, What exactly is it telling us? We're used to y equals x plus something, or y equals 10x plus something. We're used to equations in that form. How do we deal with this strange one that just says, well, x equals four? Now, can I tell you that is still a line? The way you interpret that is, just forget about the y equals minus three for now. That's the next line we're gonna work on. What this is saying to us is, it actually doesn't matter what the y value is, for all values of y, x is going to be four. Okay, so what that looks like as a line is a straight line, a vertical line. For all values of y, doesn't matter what the value of y is, x is equal to four. So you can choose any point, any value of y, let's say one, at y equals one, x equals four. At y equals four, x equals four. At y equals 200 million, all the way up there in the outer space, x is still going to be 4. Okay, so that's what x equals 4 looks like. What was the other one? y equals minus 3. Let's have a look at, the, at y equals minus 3. So that says almost the same thing, but with respect to x now. So here, if we're going to try and graph that, it says y equals minus 3 for all values of x. So it doesn't matter what x equals, y is going to be equal to minus 3. So let's first of all find minus 3. There it is down there. And so for any value of x, y equals minus 3. So that's that line there. y equals minus 3. And we could do the same exercise. So let's pick a value for x. Someone pick a number between 1 and 5 for x. 3. There's 1, 2, 3. There's 3 there. So at that point where x equals 3, we go down to the line, that point on the line, look, magically, y equals minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is that point. Let's, uh, so let's do it one more time. Can someone pick a, a low negative value for x, please? Minus 2, thank you, Nick. There at minus 2, go down to our line, and look, magically, y equals minus 3. So that's minus two, minus three. <coughs> okay, so they're special lines, but once you've got your head around them, I think you'll find that they're really, really easy. All right, Nate, can you press the magic button on my phone?